Only on CBS Atlanta, I went behind bars to spend a night in the Gwinnett County Jail. Now, last night I showed you what it was like getting booked in. Tonight, I'm taking you on lockdown, and I'll introduce you to some of the women I met there in tonight's Jaquetta's Close Ups. Hear their stories and see what life is like behind bars. Opening the door to my cell, room 103, I've come to grips with where I am. The space is extremely small, even though per cell, there is always two or three women housed here. If you have a good roommate, I mean, some people get some people that's off the chain. They don't, they don't wash up, they don't brush their teeth, they don't do none of that. Everything in full view. When you have to do anything that has to do with the bathroom facility. Absolutely no privacy. Well, you just... Courtesy flush. Y'all better move it. I said take it up. This is Deputy Patricia Nichols. Take it up. Go to the back. She's strict, firm, but fair. We do have to watch every single one and see what's taking place and make sure no one's hurt anyone. This is a pre-trial detention center. Most women spend 12 months or less here. Some women have been here for much longer, like 27-year-old Lorna, here for two years awaiting trial. Three armed robberies, kidnapping, burglary, and murder charge. I'm sorry, three armed robberies, kidnapping, burglary, and a murder charge. And a murder charge. You were involved in that, allegedly. The first six months, eight months was the worst. First week, they put me in 53 watch, suicide watch, because of my charges. So I'm a person with a short fuse, and um, yeah, the first time I came here was for simple battery. This is her third time here. And now I'm back for violating my probation. A lot of people in here that just make it's a revolving cycle. They a little get mistake. out and they come right back. They get out and they come right back. And you're only allowed out of that room when the officer says you're allowed out of the room. Inmates tell me that they come out here to play volleyball, basketball, they can smoke or do absolutely nothing if they'd like. They also tell me if it's a good day, they get about an average of three hours of free time. You're just given basic necessities, personal hygiene items and three meals a day. One, one sugar, one sweet and all that. One. Store call is always the highlight of the week. We get to the point where you just the little things is what makes you happy. Everybody lights out. We are in lockdown mode, which means I'm in my cell and I won't be allowed out until tomorrow morning. The bed is um, not comfortable. Finally, morning comes. My jail time. I am so tired. Over. I didn't hardly sleep a wink that night. I want to let you know, though, this was an assignment I've always wanted to do. I got a lot of phone calls and emails from people wondering if I really did it. You see that I did. The only thing that helped me get through the night, though, I will admit, was knowing that I would be released the next morning. And I still can't believe you spent the night there. I that can't either. I, I go back and I look at the footage. I'm like, man, I can't believe you are I tough. Did. You are one tough woman. I'll tell you High that. High five on that. High five on that. <laughs> that is awesome. And I was asking you if you actually ate there. You had dinner there. How was it? Bland, nasty, Bland. not so great. Like porridge and bread and you know, it's hard boiled egg. Uh, it's a little thing of juice. Oh. It's white bread. Just the basics. Just the basics. Hmm. It's very not a hotel stay. It's yeah. jail. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah very, it's just amazing <laughs> you did that. And it's great to see an inside look. Thanks. Very eye-opening.